This is Starcade Shorts. I'm Clint. That's Noah. And we are drafting our five worst NES games of all time. It's a list that is long but distinguished. And I'm starting with Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I just wanted to fight the witch doctor. Where's the witch doctor? Nowhere to be found. My number one has got to be Deadly Towers. Worst game on the NES. It's a maze. The music starts over every time you enter a room, which you're doing every like 0.2 seconds. So over and over again, the same music starting. Little blue orbs coming after you. Very weird game. Number two is Ghostbusters. I just wanted a proton pack and a trap and to fight ghosts. And I have to like drive around and buy stuff. Like <laughs> still traumatizes me. I hate that game. My number two is Rambo. Great film, horrible game. Also another game that is a maze that I get lost in. Never beat it. Rambo's wearing weird red pants, fighting snakes, and just the music is off. It has nothing to do with Rambo. Awful. For my number three, it's going to be Track and Field 2. I cannot describe the endless frustration trying to figure out how to land a dive and a triple jump on that game. And I pretty much hate the Olympics and all Olympic sports to this day as a result. You can't land a dive. I can't land on an aircraft carrier. My number three is Top Gun. It had so many great cut scenes, the music, everything outside of the actual gameplay. They did really well and related it right to the film, but the gameplay was atrocious. Still haven't landed it either. I tried the other day. Four for me, double dribble. Finally, a basketball game on the NES. Oh, wait, it's slow and meandering and boring, horrible gameplay and all out poop. Number four for me has got to be Home Alone. Maybe my favorite movie of all time, and it just did not translate to the game. You spend 20 minutes trying to get away from Harry and Marv for the cops to come. It's just a game of keep away. And it just didn't have really anything to do with the film. Keeping with the theme of great movies that are horrible games, number five for me is Karate Kid. It's another classic movie turned into a useless video game. It only has four levels with the worst payoff you've ever seen. When you win, you get like a screen of Mr. Miyagi saying, you are a Supreme Warrior. Thank you. Goodbye. But before we go, my number five is Teenage Dream Ninja Turtles. Such a fan. I'm just a kid that wants to play a fun game with the Ninja Turtles. Instead, it may be one of the hardest games on the NES console altogether. Oh, bummer. Well, that was our worst NES games of all time. Would love to know some of yours. Leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you for the view and hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot.